Hello everyone, I'm your produce guy and today we're going to make some pomegranate juice from fresh pomegranates. Now, when I was a kid, my mom would use a citrus juicer where she would hold that pomegranate down and crush the arrows and get the juice to run out that way and she'd use that for making some pomegranate jelly. I've seen people use uh, regular vegetable juicers where you feed the arrows in and it spins them around. Um, and I've seen a big heavy press that people will use. Well, most people don't have that kind of equipment in their kitchen, so we're going to make some pomegranate juice with our blender today. Most of you will have a blender and be able to use that. Now I'm going to show you a method. We've got another video which shows you how to open a pomegranate to keep from splashing yourself with the, the juice and to maintain the integrity of the arrows, the little juice sacs, inside of the pomegranate. That's especially good, and I like that, if you're going to use those arrows whole, like in a recipe or just eating, uh, I like to keep them, uh, with the, I like to have them not broken. Uh, but we're going to juice these, so it's okay if we break them. So I'm going to show you another method for getting these arrows out. It's a little faster, and so let's, uh, let's get started on that. First thing we need to do is cut our pomegranate in half. There we go. Now you can see we're losing a little bit of juice already there. Now, take my bowl, a large bowl, wooden spoon, and my pomegranate. And we're just going to knock, see them going right there, knock those arrows out of the pomegranate. Alright, I think that's got it. There we are. Look at that. I'll just peel that back. There's a few left in there. We'll just run our finger through there to get them. Now, you got to be uh, very careful when you're using a method like this because you can see the juice is spraying just a tiny bit. You want to wear clothes or an apron or something that uh, you don't need to worry about getting stains on because you know these guys stain. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done and then we'll start the juicing. Okay, I finished knocking out the arrows out of those pomegranates. You can see we've uh, got those cleaned out there. Now, we're going to go ahead and make the juice. Now, the juice, you can buy pomegranate juice in the store. Uh, oh, it is pricey. If you, uh, for a little 16-ounce uh, bottle, you're going to pay over $4 easily. So, if you find pomegranates when they're in season and get them on sale, like I did these, you can make your own juice at a uh, reasonable cost. So, let's, uh, let's get... Some, oh, there's a bunch of juice already forming down in the bottom of the, the bowl here. Going to get that in. There we go. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to that. Not very much. To facilitate the uh, blending on that. And then we're going to fire this, uh, this guy up. Okay, there we've got our uh, pulp and everything blended up. The next step is we're going to go ahead and strain it. Okay, to strain the juice, I'm just going to take a, a strainer or sieve right here. I'm going to line it with a paper towel with a nice bowl underneath to catch my juice. And then in we go. And let that strain the juice. Okay, we'll leave that a few minutes and let that work. Alright, we've uh, strained this in about three batches. I've used paper towels here to help catch the pulp. You can use a cheesecloth too, which is a little more durable. You can give uh, cheesecloth a good squeeze at the end where uh, your paper towel you've got to be real careful about so you don't break one out. So we'll just set that aside. Here we are, we've got our fresh pomegranate juice. Pomegranates, the juice is just loaded with antioxidants and is one of those superfoods they talk about. Look at that. There we are. Our own fresh pomegranate juice made with just a blender. Uh, no special equipment needed. If you got special equipment, it might be a little bit faster for you than this process, but wanted to make this video for 
everyone to be able to enjoy their own fresh pomegranate juice. Thank you so much for being with us. I am your produce guy, reminding you that fresh is best, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. And today's segment is about pomegranates and how to safely open them without making a big mess. So I've got my sleeves rolled up here for this job. Let's get to it. For this operation, we're going to need a few tools.